The name's Thompson. Jack Thompson. And today, I'm going to be talking about honesty. And specifically, from Acts chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. And that's also the story of Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira were these two, a husband and wife that bought a piece of land, but then sold it eventually. And what they did is they gave all of the money to the church. Let's see what they actually did. Then Peter said, Ananias, why have you let Satan fill your heart? He lied to the Holy Spirit, and you kept some of the money for yourself. The property was yours to sell or not to sell, as you wished. And after selling it, the money was also yours to give away. How could you do a thing like this? You weren't lying to us, but to God. As soon as Ananias heard these words, he fell to the floor and died. Everyone who heard about it was terrified. And the same also happened to Sapphira. So what actually happened was Ananias and Sapphira were, what they were trying to do is get honor or like, look, look here, look here. We're donating to the church. We're trying to give to the poor. When actually they were like, we'll give some of the money, but keep the rest of the money. And we'll try and get the most honor by saying we gave all of it away. Which then you're not lying. You're not. You're not lying to everyone in like the church. The church is the body of Christ, and then if you lie to the body of Christ, you're lying to Christ, which is God. And so let's say. And also he says, Peter says to Ananias, "You've let Satan fill your heart," and that's not good. Like you don't want to let Satan fill your heart. And then let's just look at it this way: whenever you you have a thousand coins. You have two piggy banks. The Satan piggy bank and the God piggy bank. Every time you lie or sin, you put a co- one of your coins into the Satan piggy bank. Whenever you do a good deed or set, tell the truth, you put your piggy bank in, uh, coin into the God piggy bank. And then when you think about it, when you repent, you destroy the Satan piggy bank and then take all the coins from that one and put it in the God piggy bank. And that's well, it's just amazing. But honesty is is an amazing thing. And like, when you repent, you're being you. If you don't repent honestly, you're not actually repenting. Which, if you think about it, it's like you're going. I'm repenting. I'm gonna get all my coins replaced. When actually, in reality, you're going. You're just like tapping it on the back or something. It, it's not. It doesn't. If you don't repent honestly, it's no point. And, well, thanks for watching. It was a pleasure.